All right, now that we've gotten through measurement, we have to talk about what that measurement actually gives us, is something called significant figures. All right, so when you use a tool appropriately and go to the right amount of digits that you can estimate to, that gives you information to work with in a lab situation. Um, and that information is known as significant figures. All right? There's four mostly simple rules related to identifying something as either significant or not. All right, and then we're also going to talk about rounding to a certain number of significant digits, and I will hold you to that throughout the year. So, for any given number, any non-zero digit is a significant figure. All right, so, you know, examples of this are 424. That has three sig figs. I'm just going to abbreviate sig figs SF, Okay. Um, or 5,382.67 has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 sig figs. Okay? All non-zeros are significant digits. If there are zeros between your non-zeros, those count as significant. Alright? So, say the number 101. That has 3 sig figs. 272, 75,024 has six sig figs. All right, 0 0.10123, all right. We'll get into, I'm actually going to erase this just not to throw you off yet. So that one has five sig figs, okay? So zeros in between non-zeros, all of them are considered significant. All zeros to the left of your first non-zero number are insignificant. They do not count. All right. This is one reason why you never really see people say write zero one two three four for one thousand two hundred thirty-four. All right, because that zero is pointless. All right. Now, when I sit there and I write my numbers like this, where I have like zero point one three two four, that's also only four significant figures. That zero is to the left of our first non-zero, so it doesn't matter. Or, sometimes you'll have numbers like this, where there's lots of zeros and then a small decimal. All right, The only significant figures here are the three and the four. So that's two sig figs. Okay? So the last rule for identifying sig figs is zeros to the right of your non- your last non-zero digit are significant only in certain situations. Essentially there must be a decimal in the number somewhere. It doesn't have to fall after that zero, it just has to be in the number anywhere. Okay, so for example, say the number 100. All right. Without a decimal point, this has one sig fig. But if I wrote it like this, 100, and put a decimal in there, that's an indicator that I measured with a certain amount of certainty to 100 on the dot, not just the place 100. Okay, so this would have three sig figs. All right, likewise with decimals. All right, say you have this number. All right, we know that all zeros to the left don't matter at all, but because there is a decimal somewhere in the number, the 3, 4, and the 0 following it to the right are significant figures. Okay. Um, let's see. It's also something like this. Alright. Zeros to the right, if there's a decimal anywhere, they all matter. So this would be 4 sig figs. Alright. In addition to identifying sig figs, you'll have to be told at certain points, you know, to measure it to blah 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 sig figs, or calculate it to blah 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 sig figs. So you have to know how to do your rounding, essentially. So this number. I'm going to round all of these to three significant digits. Alright, and I'm probably going to add another number in here. Let's do 2, 4, 5, 0.24. All right, all of these I'm going to round to three sig figs. All right, you want to, you keep your leftmost significant digits. All right, so we're going to keep the two, three, four, except 
with the last one, you have to look at the number following it. All right. The number following it is 5 or above. You round up. All right. Anything from 0 to 4, you round down. Yeah. Same typical rounding rules that you've dealt with in any other sort of like math class. All right. So this becomes 235,000. All right. We have 435. Five is going to be our last significant digit, but it's followed by a seven. So that's going to become 4360. Right. You don't want to include a decimal point here because that would make that zero count. And we don't want four significant digits. We only want three. All right, and then this one, we have 245, all right, 0.24. Looking at our last digit, that means we'll leave the 5 the way it is. It's less than 4, so we round down to the 5. Okay. Um, with the other decimals, again, you count 3. Remember the zeros to the left, those are insignificant, okay? So B... 0 0.347 because it's followed by a 5. Alright, and then still zeros to the left are insignificant. However, these, we still need to include the zeros so that we know where our place is. Alright, in the next video, you guys are going to learn scientific notation, and that's a way to get around doing that. Um, but this would be 0, 1, 2, 3, 8, 7, 6, because the 5 is followed by a number greater than 5. All right? So please make sure you have some notes in class. These are good examples to write down to look back and reference um, and take the online assignment.